yeah okay so i don't know how long this video is gonna be but it's probably gonna be short hopefully but yeah i just read possibly the weirdest damn manga i've ever seen honestly and it's shocking that i can call it a manga but it is it's called gal cleaning now people have talked about this before there's a whole ass controversy with it due to one fat ass part of the half in ending half a damn book but we'll get to it essentially if you don't know what gal cleaning is it's basically you basically got this one guy who is basically you know not really into the gal ladies honestly don't really care for them all like that but essentially he ends up getting to live with one got one of the gal girls and essentially they have like some living arrangements don't really understand why they have living arrangements it seems a bit a bit forced i ain't gonna lie but that's how it is basically the guy just goes around essentially cleaning the house of where the gal lives because she is you know having a bunch of stuff it's a standard ass rom-com you thinking oh it's a nice ass adventure you know it nothing really too crazy that we haven't seen before and pretty much you're right i would definitely say it's something that you probably have seen before nothing really crazy happens if i'm being honest if you're looking at the first half bit nothing really goes off and do its own thing to be unique honestly it's not really that interesting but then you get to chapter eight and this shit stretches for a good ass minute now you're probably wondering why does this you know why is chapter eight so bad why is all this stuff in the other half of the book you know getting so much controversy with it that's mainly because the author found out that the entire book that he was writing was getting axed probably because it's not making money it wasn't you know pulling any good sales or anything like that so and it probably wasn't like that much in japan so most likely that's the real reason why it didn't go for too long and you know why it got axed and you're thinking okay so it's getting axed that's unfortunate but you know we still have he probably still have a little bit of time to you know make things right with the story probably get some good sales going oh no this mother effer had a whole hissy fit this man said oh so my anime so my manga's getting axed eh all right f you f your mama and f all of y'all that works here i ain't playing with this so you know what i'm gonna give you a story i'm gonna give you the story and i'm gonna swing this shit like a towel and beat someone's ass that's essentially what happened so basically after chapter eight the entire story went off the rails essentially and pretty much the gal that was you know not always super duper like etchy and crazy went really super etchy and a bit crazy because the entire good portion of like the whole eight volume was like well the second volume it was essentially the girl losing her panties and literally every single thing after that or well, what happens with the story is always about this girl going through some sexual situation with her losing her panties and you know not having them on and all that type of stuff the guy has to try to block and try to you know dip and dodge and make sure no one sees her underneath her skirt and all that also having a lot of fan service overly a lot of fan service when it comes to it especially with you know the guy ended up having some nose bleeding moments within the shots of stuff they was stuck in a whole locker and then two chapters was literally dedicated to them being stuck in a damn locker because you know f the damn story at this point so essentially this man was just going the author was just going through it honestly that man was just absolutely going through it but then you think oh that's the craziest part no the craziest part is what happens afterwards because the student council president finds out about them being stuck in the locker and essentially she has feelings for the main character and it gets really crazy so we got her backstory and pretty much she suspended two of these or at least got these two other students suspended and a pre and pretty much since they got nothing to lose out of nowhere they just ended up trying to mcdonald's rap hey the student council president kaede for like four whole chapters they went on about you know trying to pretty much finger her and pretty much suck on her breasts and all this type of stuff hell even punching her when she wouldn't you know obey and it just getting really weird and uncomfortable honestly well probably for the normal person for me it's just like an every it's a it's a it's, just, it's honestly just another tuesday but essentially that's what you got it's just very out of nowhere super 180 you know they go in 
and pretty much do everything they wanted to but before they initiate their payback even though i don't know, understand why it took you four chapters to actually get down to the business and actually you know proceed with the penis they ended up getting their ass beat by the mc who, who somehow just knew that the student council president was in trouble and pretty much protected her from those guys and essentially got her out of that situation even though they already fainted her and she's already you know traumatized by the whole thing and you know what the sad part is the way whacker part is that at the end of all this while she was going to confess her love to the mc the mc just said nah i want the gal and pretty much just dipped on his own and you know that's just how the story is because obviously the title of the dang thing is gal cleaning it wouldn't make sense if the main character went to you know be with her instead of the gal which the gal honestly looked like she was about to kill him at some point in time so you know that's another thing but how sad and tragic it is for her to literally get put in that situation almost getting mcdonald's right pay fully and then you know in the the person that's saving you doesn't give a damn about you in the slightest that, that would be that that's some that's some sad that's some sad shit honestly she deserved better anyway point is they end up finally getting done with all the fan service thankfully and essentially you know the last chapter happens where the gal acts like she's disappearing but kind of not and the reason why that she even tries to like fake pretend leave is mainly because the MC said he didn't like gals but then obviously you know that didn't stay true for long and essentially you know he admitted liking her at least and you know they got together and then that's pretty much the end of the story it really just ended with a bunch of texts on screen in the house that's literally it that's literally it honestly so yeah by far that was a really crazy ass adventure like I was not expecting it to go the way it did but and I didn't understand why it went controversial the way it did but it went controversial and it went the way it did honestly if you want just fan service and good fan service definitely granted the thing diggy acts so it's not technically you know all the way his fault but at the same time it is the creator's fault but if you want an anime that if you want a manga that has good fan service that really does deserve to be put in an anime honestly one day Go read Parallel Paradise. It's an anime. It's a manga. I should still probably try to keep reading. I don't know why I stopped reading, but it's a good ass manga. And honestly, hopefully, it does get animated some way, somehow. Even if it's just a Jintai, I want it to be somehow made. I don't care how. I just want it to be done because that that manga is by far the wettest book I've ever seen. And as base as it's gonna sound, I kind of want Gal cleaning to be a to be an anime is that a bit based is that a bit based granted i could care less about the first part of it but when everything went completely off the rails yes i wanted that i wanted to see more of that what other crazier things could happen within said story at that point honestly i kind of want to see an anime like that like where it starts off pretty calm and easy in the beginning then just completely off the rails at the last couple of episodes i just want to see what type of anime would come out of that honestly there's obviously no animes that have done that but i would like to see it for this case because it would be interesting and funny so yeah definitely when it comes down to it it's a very messed up thing that happened Unfor it's a very unfortunate thing that happened to the manga and how it got axed but at the same time it kind of came up with a funny ass result at the end of it but yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to bring up for this one today if you read this book let me know in the comments below or if you heard about this book let me know in the comments below but yeah essentially that's pretty much the end of all of this so hopefully you did enjoy if you did be sure to like share subscribe hit the bell notification out. also follow me on twitter to talk and like to the channel patreon and co-files available as well and until then it's your boy jay signing off have a blessed